Hold on, give me a second. Hold on. Hey. Yeah, this better be good. What are these things? Hello? Hi, my name is Roberto Castillo. It's a little after 7 a.m. and I was hoping to be able to sleep just a little bit longer. You see, I've been up for most of the night working on homework for graduate classes. And waking up to the sound of someone knocking at my door is not how I wanted to begin my day. But since I'm up, I might as well get started with my morning routines. Oh, fucking hair. I'm 32 years young, and I'm a student at the University of Houston, Clear Lake. I'm majoring in something called Digital Media Studies, and currently my life revolves around going to school. But life wasn't always like this. In fact, my morning routine has a little bit of history to it. I used to be a teacher. For seven years, I devoted my time and energy to my students. I taught high school and middle school kids how to draw and create with their minds. And because teaching was such a demanding job, I had to develop something that would help keep my mind, body, and soul in balance. So a few years ago, I made a commitment to take care of myself, and I've been doing it ever since. Every morning I do a combination of stretches to help wake me up which then leads to some strength exercises I learned while I was in the army. Oh yeah, I'm also a veteran, but that's another story for another time. Another part of my ritual is something called free writing. It's a form of journaling where you write without stopping for a set amount of time. I've got a lot of things to do today, so I gotta keep it short. I also meditate for about 15 minutes. So while I connect to the universe, take a look around my apartment and let me know what you think. Now you know what my mornings are like. Now that I'm done with my morning routine, I can finally start my day. Today is my studio day, and I gotta pack an overnight bag, my lunch and dinner, and my school bag so I can study. My art studio is in Midtown, so bringing all these bags will help save gas by not having to drive back and forth. Bringing my food helps me save money. Right now, I don't have a job. I resigned my teaching job this past summer so that I could pursue my graduate degree and personal art. I've been at this art studio for the past four years. It's where most of my artwork is housed. I honestly don't have anywhere else to put it. Everyone keeps telling me, you need to get your artwork out there, Roberto. And I keep telling them, hey, I'm trying to do the best I can. I set up my room so that it would be a place of inspiration for myself as well as any visitors that happen to stop by. 
why don't you check out some of my artwork? Let me know what you think. And now to do what I came here to do. Tonight, I got invited by my friend B-Boy Craig to do a live art piece at the Hip Hop Hollow show. My friend Margaret will be there too. She's doing the same thing. It was a great show. I made some new friends, and I got a lot of compliments on my art. I saw some people I hadn't seen in a while, and got invited out. But after my early rise this morning, I've earned a decent night of sleep. I had a good day today. I accomplished a lot. I could keep going, but I'm ready to call it a night. Well, at least I know who was knocking on my door this morning. <laughs> 